next poem is called Notes to Remember. It's a response to a poem, to a song called Brooklyn by Mostef, and it's just about the theme of home. It has been 10 years since you were home. You have forgotten how after dusk, the dark painted the night a starlit shade of black. You have forgotten the sound a metal pail tied to thick long rope makes when it falls into wells swollen with a full night's rain. You do not remember your grandmother's face. Both your grandfathers are now dead. Their names, new additions to the list of the dead ancestors you once prayed to. It feels like the tongue you were born with fled your mouth. When you speak to your cousins back home, the words come out a different language. You have forgotten parts of your mother's language. There are some things you fought to forget, yet they cling to you like the smell of heavy rain on red earth. The time after your parents' divorce, you were 10. Your father's sisters sat you down, warned you to not leave parts of your body lying around for strangers to pick up and make medicine of them. You remember when your sister was 16, the two of you in the souks of Marrakesh holding hands despite the two small streams of sweat they had become. The men stared long, as if you were the flesh which hangs inside a ripe mango, ready to be plucked and chewed. You remember boarding school at 18. You tried to turn your body into a playground, but refused to kiss those who came to play. Too many snakes had bitten your lips before, and everything you ate tasted like poison. It started with uncles who wanted to spill their incest inside your thighs whilst babysitting for your working mother. Their desire of turning a child into a woman so strong, they failed to see it was wrong to turn nieces into wives. There are some things you do remember. How at 20 you sat with your brother in your mother's garden, smoked your first joint together, and you made your promise never to feed yourself drugs made by man's hands. At 21 you swallowed acid and ecstasy, your body finally felt open, and you did not flinch when you saw your skin crawl, your stretch marks and pores laid bare, in a way you found both odious and alluring. You have forgotten, you have not forgotten, the many spring nights back home, how you sat on the veranda, enduring the stench of blooming magnolia, so you could listen to the crickets and watch your shadow dance in the candlelight. Thank you.